ولكن <تصفيق> أدنى أنيك يقولين هذا هو بوجا في إنجليزي كقرن لبدي قراء بوجا وذا قرنا قف كيف سومالي وكهلي وين جم قني هاي قف كيف إنجليزي كهلي كلي بين الجوجا سدر درادة دوحان إدين كعطنة يعني إدين لسه دويسان هيلان وعاوين الجوجتا وهالكان كم تليس يذا يا أحمد مركي لسه دوية هيلان بيكن Um, I will just uh, for just quick introduction. I will say in Somali about the book, and then we will come back uh, as a panel and we'll then again speak uh, in English. Bugen, uh, the introduction to plants in central Somaliland. Isago uh, Somali and also Bahia, one could get sinker in a daba adu kuchira, Kahalaya, a Britain work of festival could know in Zogado. Like in Sheriff Wimbe, Hidden and Kaib Kanodo. بوجو حن هيانو دابعها أو حروت العقيق هرجيسة أي دابع دي بوجة وحنا سجارة بوجو إيه تامنا يا ويا إيم بدن إنتي أي ودين باريتان كأحمد إيو هيلن واللسوع دي مرة فر بدن أول راع أيو هالكي سوردك السوق هذا يا وان 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 تجي مركا بوجني سجارة بوجي كده ويا هي بوجات كلا وقت كانوا هاي سنة نسيه أو خالد ونسيات بو كوبين هاي برك واحد نسكت دي دونا أنا بو جين إن كسينا وربحين كوبان أرين كلو أنا جي أدي حيس قلني وهرجيسة كسو بلا من بو جو ح على جو صوبان دقي بندقي عالم جي بوقت هرجيسة أو كوس عبسان سد الله سعوتان دل كستو أدوم ككم دي هو حلي هاي أبح فلاور جيت فلاور بولي هاي دل كستو أدوم ككم دي سد عالم كيست عالم كلو لي هاي عالم كلو لي هاي أستان تقرن كلو لي هاي أي هذا الله كده مني وحيله هنا أستان تا فلاور كده لك بوجن وحيابه هنا مركك كذا هذا اللي هرجيسة وقبل عبد من ديسكشن كوحها وما حي مركا هذا نفلاور كي جيت كي فلاور كهاي نه جيت كي فلاور كي سمع الله ندونه هنا مركا كل عاوة ودينا وحنا تعلن له هنا هدي يدك صورة عن فكر جيت أبحى وأيدن تعيشي هنا أو أهان له هذا أستان تا إن أيدن إلى وداك تان إن تاسوي إن تانو كورن دونا في إنجليزي إن يربنا نسكو يدين دونا هالك اللغة دقيقة يا يا قيبت لبعض مركا مر لبعض يا مرصد حاد با أدبان وفرحتنا عاونا سوبو حسان إلى نسو دويسان هلن هلن I just said in Somali what briefly I will repeat in English just for you to catch up the fact that the book is so close to me not only as a publisher but also in some of the trips that you have done with Ahmed, I was there. Yes. So uh, it makes uh, me, uh, with a great pressure, to present here in Somali Week Festival. I apologize that we couldn't make uh, in the Somali version that we planned to launch here at the festival. But in a few days, we will have also the Somali version uh, of this book. And this is only the first of the books that we will work on on the, on the plants in Somaliland. Before I give you the microphone to sit just about the book, I mentioned also that you work with Ahmed, uh, Ahmed Ibrahim Awale, who, uh, or, who has been here as a guest of Somali Week Festival, but he's a well-known author for uh, also other works. Uh, so let us say about the book, uh, your interest in Somaliland, uh, where we are going with this. Uh, well, I, um, this book came about very spontaneously. It wasn't something that I or I don't think anybody else had planned. It started in February last year, or January, and I was woke up in a grey, wet, cold London morning and thought, i got to get out. And I work at Kew Gardens, and by chance I went to the tea room just at the right moment, and I met somebody who was on their way to Hargeisa. 
I thought, that's it. I said, can I come too? And they said, yes. So before I knew it, I was in Hargesa. Never heard of Hargesa before, I'm not, I then think. Well, I had, yes, but didn't really know quite where it was. And I got to Hargesa and I met Ahmed and we talked a bit and Ahmed said, will you do a book like this? Because I've done other books in Oman and other countries, similar photographic guides, just to give the general population an idea of what the beautiful flowers are in their own country. So together, Ahmed and I went out in the field on three or four trips, three or four different times of year, so you get the different seasons, the wet and the dry and the very dry. And uh, we went down around most of central Somaliland and just taking pictures of what we saw and putting them together, getting them identified at, at Kew Gardens and putting it together as a book. We also made posters, which unfortunately are not here, um, and some, which have been made into postcards and things like that, which I hope you will be able to buy at a later date. And it's certainly, many Somalis seem to be quite surprised to realize just how beautiful the flowers of their country are, just that you don't always see them as you whiz past in a four by four. <laughs> what I, I like of, of this work is that uh, it's, uh, of course, a more academic work because of all the flowers have also their uh, in both the meaning and the names and the uh, scientific names. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also accessible to all, to anyone can read, anyone can appreciate. Uh, of course, the beautiful pictures, so, um, beautiful photo, photos, but the way it is uh, uh, put uh, all together gives a chance to anyone to access. Uh. It is, yes. It's, it's very accessible to anybody. And some of the things aren't quite so easy to find when you're driving around, and some only occur in the, the one that is actually on the front cover, I've, I've only seen in one place, which is about 20, 30 k kilometers from Berbera. I've not seen it anywhere else, but it's a very beautiful plant and quite, quite rare. It's also, its name is, is uh, Somalense, Adenium Somalense, so it's quite special to, to Somalia. Are you, uh, uh, your plan was to select the native flowers or also the imported or the foreign plants that came? The ones people will see in their day-to-day -day lives. I don't want to be precious about what's native and that's been there since time immemorial. It's what's growing locally. People can look at them, find them, know their names, know where they came from, and where else in the world they grow. Okay. That's, that's really about it. Uh, I, want to be, I want to be honest. Uh, um, one of the things is uh, that uh, after I have uh, uh, sort of participated in the production of this work uh, was the fact that I became more observant. Mm. When, I am, when I'm walking the streets of the city, I notice. When I'm going outside Hargeisa, from time to time, I stop over in between Hargeisa and Berbera and look for plants, look for flowers. Uh, and it is fascinating. Things that uh, otherwise, I, at least before this work, uh, I didn't notice. Is that the effect is that it makes to other people uh, this kind of work? Yes, the first time I made a book like this, somebody had exactly the same, the same reaction. They said, oh, I'd never seen any of these before, and I used to just wake up in the morning and go to work, and this. They said, now I get up early so I can walk to work, and I can see what's around me, and I notice things. And it's made my country so much more interesting to me, by just by having the pictures. It's beautiful. That's really beautiful. I know that uh, at, the, at the end of the book, there's a long list of uh, uh, names uh, mm -hmm. in Somali, and uh, it's a scientific uh, 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 name. This, um, in some way, tells me that you and Ahmed were planning also this as a book for educational purposes, so people who, can, who are studying in botanic can, can use it. Yes, it was made partly in, in, in conjunction with the, with the uh, foundation of um, biodiversity in, in Hargeisa, which is uh, uh, set up as a biodiversity organization. So that everything is under the scientific name and in scientific families, but they all have the, the Somali name next to them. And of course, the Somali version will all be in Somali. Uh, so for your information, biodiversity foundation is a uh, 
uh, it's an institution working, uh, of course, on biodiversity, but uh, hosted uh, and uh, blessed in the University of Hargeisa. Uh, so uh, they're working uh, with the museum as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're doing quite good uh, uh, scientific work in Somaliland in botany and, and agriculture. Um, what's the next? Now, uh, the title says Plants in Central Somaliland. Should I understand that will be another visit in Somaliland, uh, to the north and east of Somaliland? Well, one always hopes so, yes. <laughs> yes, especially as winter comes up, one wants to get out. You know? <laughs> so um, I would hope to go to the eastern part, um, Erigavo region, where, area where you've got the escarpments and some very interesting flowers and plants, and also Zela I've not been to along there, although I have been uh, somewhere along the coast to, to uh, Buhari. Um, uh, yes, I think Eastern Somaliland would be the next place to go. Fantastic. Knowing that uh, the book is so beautiful and still we have to visit Dalo, we have to go to Godmepiaz, uh, you can imagine how, what we could expect as a second uh, book uh, of, this, uh, of this series. Another issue that I have mentioned is the national flower, national flower of Somaliland. We, uh, when we presented in Hargeisa at the uh, Hargeisa International Book Fair this year, we started to talk about that. Some people suggested uh, already some names of uh, trees or plants uh, and flowers. But what uh, every country has is the flower more than the plant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you say something about that? Uh, then we will, we will hear about uh, our audience if they have some names to suggest. Well. I, some of the ones I know that people in Hargesa have been talking about, and, and I wasn't there at the time, one of them was Acacia buzii, which is used for charcoal and is actually a very lovely plant and has a very nice flower. It is in the book. Um, another possibility is frankincense, because that, that appeals to everybody. It appeals to the conservationists. It appeals to the people who want something that's useful, and to people like Jarma and myself, who are basically think of it just as a romantic idea, the wonderful, the wonderful smell and the invocation that one has of something like frankincense with a history. Otherwise, there's something like this plant that's on the front cover and just the first picture, which is a lovely flower, and is the name Somalia, Somaliense. So yeah. I think that's up to people in Somaliland. Yeah. And um, I'm very, well, very willing to provide you with photos of anything that you come up with that I do have photos of. And together we could think of something that that means some, means something to you in your poetry and your history, not just something that's utilitarian. Yeah, yeah. We want we want a bit of romance here. <laughs> 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 well, um, before I, I I give you the chance to ask us a few questions. Uh, I strongly recommend this volume because it's really, really beautiful as a book. Uh, it's uh, beautiful to have on your table at home, but most importantly, it's a wonderful gift. Uh, if you want to give, make a gift to someone, it's, uh, it's the object, it's the book to, to, to give us uh, as a gift. Uh, the book's here. Um, maybe Helen will be leaving us uh, a bit earlier, so at the break, uh, if uh, anyone wants that uh, the book to be signed, it's the case to take at the break. Um, we have a few copies, uh, but uh, um, Kaide uh, 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 office is always uh, open to you, and you might have uh, further copies. So uh, that's the book. That's Helen. I am uh, grateful to say hello also to Ahmed, that I know he is following us from Hargeisa. Um, on to you, Dalmar. Some Helen. Just one suggestion, please. No question, nothing. When you go eastwards, mm -hmm. uh, there is a place which is very dear to everybody who saw it. It's called a Medici. Medici. Mm -hmm. It's where uh, the Sayyid Muhammad Abdullah Hassan first received it, the bombs that were dropped on him. Yes. <laughs> from afar, up in the sky. I also remember uh, a British officer who participated in driving out the Italians out of the Somali territories and also Ethiopia. I forgot his name, but he wrote a book called The 1,000 Mile War. 
he gave a very vivid description of all the areas he went to. The description he gave of that valley, Midisha, was that he said the parched plains suddenly gave way to a valley which resembled the Garden of Eden of my imagination. Wow. 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 Mm. So I think that at least few, you know, unique flowers will be found there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, while you are thinking for your last uh, chance to ask the question, I'm going back to Helen, and, and I want you to compare your work that you have done in Oman and other places uh, with uh, uh, the one that you have done in Somaliland uh, as a crystal uh, of this book. Um. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not very good at doing that. Um, I did one on a Victoria Falls between Zambia and Zimbabwe, which looks exactly the same as this because it was laid out by the same uh, the same um, d -d 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 designer, same same colours, same shape. The one in Oman is much bigger in a lot of ways, and Oman has has this the area that has the Kharif in August, July, August, where they get this very very heavy mist. So you're coming out of really very hot desert and suddenly for about 30, 40 k kilometers only and only 10, 10 kilometers going inland, you come into what could be, you know, England in February. Um, and, and it's very, very heavy mist and very thick vegetation. That's a very fascinating area to look at. And that, that coastal area is really interesting. And you also get the very high mountains in the north part of, of Oman, which equally are very interesting. And then you get the, the, the desert plains in the middle, which have very little in them. But there are quite a few plants here which were also found in Oman. Yeah. And next time when you are visiting your, 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 your city and outside of the city, look at its town, your, your, where you are working on it. You will see something so special. And please uh, take a copy of your book. One last thing, one last question. I know that uh, the people you work with, uh, like the drivers, the SPUs, uh, they sort of participated in, because I remember this uh, traveling that we have mm. done together. Can you say something about that? They didn't sort of participate, <laughs> they wholly participated. <laughs> <laughs> the drivers, of course, were great drivers, and the SPUs were simply wonderful. They, they knew the plants, they knew the land, they, they may not speak English, but they knew immediately what I was looking for, and they knew how to find it. They could say, it'll be over there. Mm -hmm. And they were always right, and they had very good eyesight. <laughs> SPUs were simply wonderful um, and tremendously helpful. Uh, and it didn't matter that we couldn't speak, because we could communicate anyway pretty well. Drivers, of course, were wonderful, and the people from, from the, the, uh, the uh, University of Hargesa provided all the facilities that were necessary. Also, of course, the, the, uh, the Ministry of Environment with permits, with letters of introduction and everything else. So in fact, I didn't do, didn't do anything really. I had all the help I could possibly wish for from people in Somaliland, the government, the university, and the people on the ground. Oh, thank you. So that I didn't do much. I just took the pictures. <laughs> Thank you so much for the modesty. The thing is that uh, normally, and I am really seriously now going back to the issue of the knowledge production, the what we were talking about at the opening session and yesterday at the Somali studies uh, issue, is that uh, normally people underestimate uh, the support from the local people, whether they are academicians who are doing the research with the people, whether they are people who are supporting you in this, like, 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 like the drivers uh, who were so expert, or SP for those uh, you do, who don't understand, SPU is a special protection unit, the police that goes with the people, the foreign people outside of uh, Hargeza that has to travel with, uh, so they are military, basically, uh, uh, guards. Uh, and the drivers, uh, so they are locally expert, they know things, they contribute the knowledge production, but people don't recognize that. What I like is that the book is thanked, their name is inside, and their contribution to the work is recognized. And that is something really, really beautiful, and, 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 and that as a, as a publisher, I appreciate it. And I'm thankful to you and Ahmed to recognize what they have done as a contribution. So thank you once, one, one more time. Thank you.
Thank you.